Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm working on the rear and front brakes on this 2005 Scion DC and that gives me opportunity to give you a tour of the rear brakes in this video. And this is what you will see if you remove the rear wheel on this vehicle actually. Oops, sorry. Let's go to look on the other side. Here it's caliper completely missing already. Take number two. Actually, this is what you will see if you remove the rear wheel. I have the light here. You see the caliper is still attached. You can see those brake pads, hopefully, right? They have like a slight blue color. Back to the driver's side where I already removed that caliper. So as usually, that caliper was held by two 14 millimeter bolts they are right here right that's a typical size what you are using when you work on Toyota brakes on these smaller vehicles so that was the mount and the mount can be slightly visible right here and because we are at the rear of the vehicle it's more complicated than in the front because not only the brake pads were stopping here, right, when you are using the brake pedal. But there is also the parking brake assembly inside of this rotor. And I will show it to you just right now. Right? So, so you take it off. Hopefully it's not rusted together. If it is, you are using these two holes, which has a fret in it, and you will use the M12 bolts which will push it away for you and voila here you can see the parking brake assembly let's zoom on it so you can see it better in the detail right so these are those parking brake shoes they are on both sides right and when you pull the parking brake these two parts expand inside of the drum therefore you will stop the vehicle from moving this is complicated part right that whole assembly if you ever try to work on it make sure you memorize how it was put together or take a lot of pictures if you decide ever work on that i'm very lucky i don't have to deal with it the only thing i will be using this adjuster because they weren't adjust correctly however they seem to be almost brand new if I use my gauges let's find out the smallest gauge is two but that's definitely not the same I believe these shoes are comfortably three millimeters right and in this case that's perfect it's not a problem at all it actually tells me again that's three millimeter it tells me I don't need to touch this I'm very happy about that and what's about this rotor I just removed right in the beginning of the video so number one when I saw this I was very happy too why because I immediately recognized that this is original Toyota OEM part. How did I see it? Well, I worked for a dealer, so I remember how they look new, right? They have this kind of bluish, grayish, blackish color. Also, I recognized immediately the writing, which is here. Toyota very nicely put here minimum thickness, TH, 7.5 millimeters I'm not sure if you can read it I hope you can see it I'm trying to do it visible and then it continues maximum diameter 174 millimeters do you know what these numbers are standing for so the minimum thickness actually goes for this part of the rotor when this left the factory when it was brand new it was nine millimeters right and they say 
it can get thinner up to 7 or down to 7.5 millimeters. After that it shouldn't be used anymore. I'm not allowed to resurface it right on my brake light and it needs to be replaced. Let's go and see if the caliper, how thick is this one right now. I would like to you to see that too so I have to move a little bit. But look at that. That seems to be avoiding this slip right it seems to be basically almost brand new so I'm definitely able to go and resurface right 8.76 it's just awkward for me to hold it but you can see it's almost brand new right and I am able to take it put it on my brake light and make it absolutely perfect and ready for the new brake pads. Now what was the other number? And again it says here maximum diameter 174 millimeters. So is it the diameter from here to here? No, you already know that right? I'm just kidding. It's actually this area which also can get worn by those brake shoes right so they are saying this cannot get worn over that 174 millimeters so you will again measure multiple spots and it has to be actually smaller in this case also back to the shoes when they are brand new right and shoes are these when they are brand new they are 3.2 millimeters and the minimum thickness regarding Toyota it's one millimeter and they go so down that should be also replaced so you can see it being resurfaced This rotor was in such a good shape that it needed only just one very thin cut, right? It was obvious from beginning actually that this is really, really good shape. Let's go and measure it again and see what we lost on it. So, we will zero this caliper, right? And let's go. I'm, I'm not sure if you will see it, but what we are having here 865 I have a this is correct 867 867 right should be everywhere identical since I just straightened this whole thing 867 so we are well above right the minimum thickness which is seven and a half was absolutely no reason to replace this it's an oem part right not only that color it's also that cut if you look in that detail as a structure so it's easy for me to recognize this is oem original toyota this is absolutely gorgeous and it will serve to this vehicle for a very long time. So I hope these numbers will be one day helpful to someone who is right doing his own rear brakes. You guys saw the design and so on. And it will be helpful to you. Thank you for watching and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss more Toyota Tech in the future. See you later, my friend.